special broadcast to you. Local grocery stores are slowly but surely selling out of cranberry sauce, mashed potato mix, and many other holiday favorites. But of course we can't forget turkey. Employees and locals urge everyone to stock up while they can to prepare for the holidays. I'd like to also take a moment to remind those who may have forgotten or just never learned about the holiday of Thanksgiving. In the year of 1621, after a long year of harvesting and farming, there came a day where the pilgrims of the Plymouth colony decided to feast with the Wampanoag people. And feasts they did, having food such as bread, stuffing, potatoes, pumpkin pie, and yes, turkey. But Thanksgiving isn't just about eating food, it's about being with the people you cherish most. And with that being said, I want to say thanks not only for my family, but everyone here in the studio. Without the people working behind the camera, none of this would be possible. Once again, thank you. When we get back from this break, we will get word on sports, followed by the weather, and wrap up with some Chicago pride. We'll be back after these short messages. Welcome back. I am now getting word of breaking news. We're reporting live where thousands are now fleeing their homes during Thanksgiving festivities after turkeys have reportedly come back to gobble us up. Survivors are calling this deranged apocalypse turkey terror and have stated they've jumped out of the oven and started attacking. We have one of our top reporters, Kaylin Naylor, sharing more information on this catastrophe. Kaylin, what do you have for us? I have a map and a short bit of information to give you. Yeah, and do you have any thoughts on what we should do? Nope, that's all I've got. Just maps. Okay, are you able to show us what's happening on the map? Sure, so I'll come up here and show you. We've got a map of all 50 states, including the other two that aren't part of the big contiguous part. We've got red for the ones that are not doing so well, blues for the ones that are doing great, and orange for the ones that are considering not doing as well. No, oh, I see. And is there any sign of a decrease in the number of turkeys taking over? Nope, it's just going up. All of this will be red someday. I don't know when, but hopefully it'll be sometime not in the near future. And I see that says turkified. Is that a professional term that you came up with or someone else? I wouldn't say I came up with it, but I have a suspicion that the turkeys might have come up with it. Oh, yeah. And what do you think is the best solution if there is a turkey near to you? Well, I would say just go somewhere where there isn't a turkey near to you and make sure the turkey isn't near to you. After all, it's only thousands of people and of the hundreds of millions of people out there, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And you're just one in a million? And have you encountered one yet yourself? No, but I know a guy who has, and he's okay, or at least... Last I heard from him a couple weeks ago, he was okay. Oh, well, that is definitely quite concerning. I am now getting a news that a turkey mafia is taking over New York and appears they have set up their headquarters inside of the White House. According to survivors, they second. unfortunately cannot be stopped. What are your thoughts, Kaylin? Well, 15, I'd say it wouldn't be the first time 15, a turkey was seen uh, in the White House. 11, so they seem nine, to know what they're doing with, nine, <laughs> eight, with the turkey when it seven, comes to six, Thanksgiving. Six, Five, okay, well, it seems like that's all the time we have for today. I'd like to thank Caitlin Naylor uh, for reporting firsthand to us, the survivors, and lock your doors, throw out your seasonings, refrain from leaving the neighboring area while police are being heavily armed. With thousands of their loved ones, no ovens will be preheating tonight. 
With that being said, my name is Hannah Smith from COD News. Stay safe tonight, folks.